If you're a CS student right now, you probably think you're doing everything right. Good grades, grinding leet code, following the path to Google. But your CS degree is really worth nothing. It's you who has to put in the worth. The entire focus of CS education is backwards. You're being optimized for exams, grades, and theoretical knowledge. But companies don't hire based on test scores. They hire based on your ability to ship products and solve real problems. Think about what you actually do in a CS program. You memorize algorithms for exams. You implement data structures to get an A. You write code that only your professor will ever see, and it only needs to work once. That's not how real development works. In the real world, code needs to be maintained. It needs to work with other people's code. It needs to handle edge cases you didn't think of. But you're CS program doesn't teach you that. Here's the problemo. You're learning to work alone on assignments, not collaborate on teams. You're building toy projects for grades, not real applications for users that could crash sending your whole team to find you. You're taught that the right way exists, but real development is all about trade-offs. Should you optimize for speed or readability? Should you ship now or wait for perfection? Your CS program doesn't prepare you for these decisions, but these are the decisions you'll make every single day as a developer, and you'll have no idea how to make them, because you spent four years in an environment where every problem has one correct solution. So what happens? You graduate and you're excellent at things that don't matter. You can implement a red-black tree. You can analyze time complexity, but you can't build a production application. You can't work with a messy code base. You can't communicate with non-technical stakeholders. You can't ship features under deadline pressure. You spent four years becoming really good at being a student, but nobody's hiring students. They're hiring builders, and you don't know how to build. Meanwhile, there's a self-taught developer who spent two years building real projects, contributing to open source learning by actually doing the work. They've shipped code that real users touched, they've debugged production issues, they've worked with messy APIs. And when they apply for jobs, they're more hireable than you. Not because they're smarter, but because they train for the actual job, not the test. They optimize for the skills companies actually need. And you optimized for a GPA that means nothing. But it doesn't get you hired. Your portfolio gets you hired. Your ability to demonstrate skills gets you hired. And you don't have those because you spent four years chasing grades instead of building real skills. Your university won't tell you this because they need your tuition. Your professors won't tell you because they've never worked outside academia. But I'm telling you now, the skills that get you an A are not the skills that get you hired. Your CS degree is a starting point not a finish line. The students who treat it like a finish line graduate unemployed and confused. The students who build real skills on top of it, they're the ones who make it. AI is generating more code than ever, but here's the problem. Developers now spend more time reviewing code than writing it. Without proper guardrails, AI-generated code slows teams down. That's where CodeRabbit comes in. It's not another code generator like Cursor or Copilot. It's an AI code reviewer that catches issues the second you open a pull request. CodeRabbit provides one-click fix suggestions and lets you define custom code quality rules Catching subtle issues traditional tools miss. It learns from your team's feedback and gets smarter over time. CodeRabbit has reviewed over 10 million PR installed on 2 million repositories and used by 100,000 open source projects. It's free for all open source repos. Check it out with the link below. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe.